Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I want to welcome you to my stop on the September 2020 Flavor of the Month card kit hop. I hope you'll stick around, see what all is in the kit, and see the first four cards I made using it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I'm super excited to be here today to share with you a look at the latest Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month kit. This is the September 2020 kit and the theme is Orchards and Patches. I have to say when I got this kit, I have already looked at it and I have fallen in love. Fall being the primary part of that. It is full of autumn and fall themed goodies that I cannot wait to craft with. Before I get into the rest of the video though, I do want to remind you that this is part of a hop. So make sure when you're done with my video here, you click on the link at the top of my description box below to keep going. In today's video, I will be unboxing the kit with you, showing you what's in each of the four collections and showing you the extra banana split goodies. And I will also share with you a card that I made using each collection and one of the printables that you'll have access to if you're a Flavor of the Month kit subscriber. Are you ready to see what I got? While I'm opening up the newest kit, I wanted to share a message from Teresa, the owner of Scrapping for Less. She says, fall is here. Let's take a trip to the apple orchard or maybe you want to go to the pumpkin patch. A little story about pumpkin patches. I started scrapbooking when our first grandchild was born, and boy did I love documenting everything about his growth. When he was three, I wanted to take him to a pumpkin patch for the sole purpose of being able to do a photo shoot there and as a result create a scrapbook page. So whether you scrapbook or make cards, make sure you enjoy the fall weather and do something fun. Our guest and design team has some fabulous projects to share with the September kit, Orchards and Patches. Please visit the Scrapping for Less store to get your kit. Also, you can enter a raffle copter on the Scrapping for Less blog for a chance to win a prize. Both of those will be linked in the description box below. Collection one is called Sweet Sunflower Patch. Collection number one comes with the Sweet Sunflower Patch paper by Scrapping for Less. As always, this is a nice heavyweight pattern paper with kind of a semi-gloss feeling to it and it is double-sided. It also comes with the Sweet Fall stamp set by Scrapping for Less and this is a cute sunflower and bee and honey theme. I love this one here where half of the image is the sunflower and the other half is a quote. It says, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Who can't use some kind words? It also has an envelope and you get some Gina Marie Designs enamel dots. These are a very pretty fall orange and some white organza ribbon by Doris. Collection number two is called Apple Orchard Pickin'. Collection two comes with the Apple Orchard Pickin' paper by Scrapping for Less. 
and the Apple Gnome Stamp Set by Scrapping for Less. You might recognize this little gnome from my sneak peek card from the month. As soon as I saw him, I just knew that I had a paper piece that little guy. If you want to see that video, I will link it in the description box below. Again, we have an envelope and for embellishments, there are some kind of dark tan enamel dots and some brown and white twine. Collection number three is called Floral Patches. This collection features the Floral Patches paper by Scrapping for Less, as well as the Patches stamp set another adorable little image and then it says here hey there but hey is in like hey that this little guy is stuffed with for the embellishments you get some satin ribbon from Doris, buttons from buttons galore and i think these will go really great with like the patchwork feel of some of these papers and finally some brown enamel dots by gina marie designs Collection number four is Pumpkin Patches and Harvest Wishes. This collection features the Pumpkin Patches and Harvest Wishes paper by Scrapping for Less, and I know somebody in my life who would love this blue little truck paper, so I'm definitely gonna make her a card. I also like just the basic patterns in fall colors you get with this set. Those are so gorgeous. For the stamp set, it is called Hey There Pumpkin, and it is a little icon of a pumpkin with Hey There Pumpkin written on top of it. I like how the font is open so you could actually color that in. And you also get some fun fall ephemera by Scrapping for Less, as well as some dark red enamel dots. And then finally, I did get the banana split with the kit that I was sent to use. And this is an add-on each month. And if you want more information on all of the costs and how you can subscribe, in the description box below is a link to the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit page. And you can either just buy one-off kits if they're available after subscribers get them, or you can subscribe for $25 a month for what you just saw or $35 if you want to add the banana split. This month, we got a custom stencil to go with the theme. There are sunflowers, pumpkins, and apples. You know that I love a good apple. There are also two adorable little dyes. You have a sunflower and a leaf, great for fall. An assortment of flat sequins. There's a white, a light blue, and then they're a little harder to see but they're kind of like a clear holographic. I love the size of these. And then finally, a cute little ruler that says blessed beyond measure. I see myself using this maybe if I have to place like stickers or things with adhesive on the back to get it straight first and then put it down on a card. I hope that you enjoyed this little unboxing and project share video today. Make sure to continue on the hop by clicking on that link below. I'll be back later in the month on my channel to share with you how I created the cards you saw today. And I'll also be popping on to the Scrapping for Less YouTube channel weekly to share with you more projects using this kit. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up 
Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.